Welcome back, everybody, to our breezy birthday special for Bennett 7 1287 and our December 2022 specials. We're going to play one more game for the Xbox 360, and that is America's favorite quiz show, Jeopardy. Let's see how it goes. We're going to have a good game here. Please welcome our contestants. Player one. Player two. Player three. And now. Here is the host of Jeopardy, Alex Trebek. Thank you, Johnny Gilbert, and thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. Let's take you right now into the Jeopardy round. Yeah, let's do it. Clues are worth two hundred to one thousand dollars in these categories: the Tony Awards, okay, slogans and mottos, all right, defined in the OED, interesting, fly me to the moons. <laughs> Book learning. Ah. And when did it happen? Good question. A lot of clues, a lot of categories, Good player one. Her Little Women appeared in 1868. A mere 127 years later, her A Long Fatal Love Chase arrived. Who is Louisa May Alcott? It's player one. Good. <laughs> yeah! Woo! Please. In addition to 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, he wrote an 1887 story on the Civil War. North against South. Who is Jules Verne? Yes, player one. Yeah! Correct. <laughs> we all animals are equal, but some animals are more equal than others. In a 1945 book by this author. Who is George Orwell? It's player one. Yeah! Right. <laughs> okay, uh, we'll play right now. Player one. In 1840, he hit a bumpo in the road and penned the Pathfinder. Who is James Fenimore Cooper? Okay, player one. Woo! Yes. <laughs> and I'll take, uh, for that. You can, in 1863, this Russian wrote The Cossacks, a short novel based on his travels with the army. Yes, player one. I'm gonna say who is, uh, um, travels with the army. I don't think it's Tolstoy. I'll say it was Alexander Pushkin. That's not it. Anyone else want to hazard a guess on this? Let's hear it, player two. You are correct. Oh, okay. Player two, where do we start? Mm -hmm. The director of an orchestra or chorus. Who is the conductor? Let's hear it, player one. Right. Yeah. Oh, a lofty tower forming part of a church. Lofty tower forming part of a church. Yes, player one. What is an axe? No, sorry. Anyone else want to hazard a guess on this? Here's the correct response. A steeple. All right. Please. A large, many-celled berry with a leathery yellow, orange, or red rind. Large, many-celled berry with a leathery yellow, orange, or red Let's hear it, player one. What is a pomegranate? Yes. <laughs> yeah! Uh, yeah. Woo! Yeah! Answer. It's the Daily Double. 
you are in the lead with a clue. A road junction designed so that traffic streams do not intersect. I'm going to say what is an overpass. Sorry. Oh. Here's the correct response. An interchange. All right. You get to move from site to site on the internet. What is browse? Let's hear it, player one. No. Nope. Oh. Anyone else? Yes, player three. Right. <laughs> okay, let's get back into this. Player three, you make the next selection as well. Named for a sea god who could change shape at will, Proteus is a moon of this planet. Let's hear it, player one. What is Neptune? Good. <laughs> Where Phobos, a moon of this planet, was named for a son of Ares in Greek mythology. What is Mars? Yes, player one. That is correct. <laughs> you, Saturn's largest moon is named this. What is Titan? Player one. That <laughs> is correct. You've got some money again. <laughs> so the most volcanically active satellite in the solar system is Io, a moon of this planet. What is... Okay, player one. <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> Right on its trip out of our solar system, this spacecraft discovered Puck, a moon of Uranus. It's player one. What is Pioneer? No. Oh. Any other takers? Here's the correct response. Voyager. I'm fine. Player one, back to you for our next. The front of the Tony Award depicts these ancient twin emblems of comedy and tragedy. It's player one. Yep. Player one. It takes a lickin' and keeps on ticking. What is Timex? Let's hear it, player one. Yes. <laughs> player All one. the news that's fit to print. What's the New York Times? Let's hear it, player one. Yes. <laughs> so choosy moms choose this. What is JIT? Okay, player one. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> player because one. Because I'm worth it. Player one. What is L'Oreal? That's correct. <laughs> yeah! Woo! We, with a name like this one, it has to be good. What is Smuckers? Player one? Good. <laughs> yeah! Woo! Player one? Don't cry for Mandy Patinkin. He won a 1980 Tony Award for this musical. What's a beat up? It's player one. Good for you! <laughs> you, Ian McKellen won a Tony in 1981 for playing this rival of Mozart in Amadeus. Who is Solari? Okay, player one. Yeah. You got it! <laughs> player From one. 1997 to 2010, the Tony Award ceremony was held at this nearly 6,000 seat hall. It's player one. What is Carnegie Hall? No. Oh. Sorry. Anyone else want to hazard a guess on this? Yes. Let's hear it, player three. Oh, no, sorry. Anyone else want to hazard a guess on this? Player two. That is correct. <laughs> Player two, make a selection, please, as we continue. She's the dynamic actress-producer for whom the Tony Awards were named. It's player one. And was that what I parried? Yeah. Correct. <laughs> what did it happen? Where do we... Here's Sarah to start us off. 
JFK won the presidential nomination at the Democratic National Convention in this year. Was it 1960? Yes, player one. That's it. <laughs> player the one. The U.S. declared war against Spain on April 25th of this year. What is 1898? Player one. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, six. Bastille Day in France commemorates an event on this date in 1789. What is July 14th? It's player one. Right. <laughs> So the Sons of Liberty threw one heck of a tea party in Boston on December 16th of this year. What is 1773? Okay, player one. Woo! Yes. <laughs> Let's have a look at the thousand dollar clue. King John affixed his seal to the Magna Carta at Runnymede in June of this year. What is 1215? Player one. Good Woo! for you. Player three, you're going first in double jeopardy. And we'll start that round right after this break. Let's see what happens in double jeopardy with these categories awaiting the players. Women's firsts. Literary characters. Colleges and universities. Country music stars on film. One. Panhandling. Oh, pan. And Official. giving you the bird. Oh, Lord. Player three, start us. Oh, God. We're gonna start also here. known as a red bird and protected by law, this bird may have up to four broods from April to August each year. What is a cardinal? It's player one. Good. <laughs> the bird Player the ruby-throated one of these can migrate 500 miles while burning off only slightly more than one gram of fat. Uh, what is a Let's hear it, player one. Good. Pochards, perching, stiff-tailed, and dabbling are types of these birds. What are... Let's hear it, player one. That is correct. Player there are one. about 60 species of this wading bird. Asia has a purple one, and America, a great blue one. Let's hear it, player one. What is a heron? Right. <laughs> you get yeah! the first of the two daily doubles. And you're in the lead now. Player one, give us a wager. Answer this. The gray type of this bird was introduced to North America in 1889. Come on, get happy. What is a partridge? Congratulations, you're still in first, player one. Player one, back to you for okay, our next selection. The 735-acre campus of this Baptist school is on the banks of the Brazos River in Waco, Texas. What is Baylor University? It's player one. Good for you. <laughs> Player one, one of the most popular organizations at this state university in Louisiana is the Tiger Marching Band, founded in 1926. It's Player One. What is too late? No. Nope. Sorry. Any other takers? Here's the correct response. Grambling. Oh. Player one. This college was intended to be the first college within the University of Dublin, but it's still the only one. It's player one. What is Trinity College? That's correct. <laughs> player one. Charles, not Sonny, was the benefactor of this Medford, Massachusetts University. Yes, player one. I'm going to say what is uh, Tufts. That Woo! is correct. <laughs> yes, so Beloit College in this state was founded in 1846, while that state was still a territory. 
Let's hear it, player one. What is Michigan? <gasps> Sorry, that's wrong. Any other takers? Here's the correct response. Wisconsin. Oh, okay. Country music Select again. Oh. In 1508, Oops. Dutch author Desiderius Erasmus first used her name with box instead of the traditional vase or jar. Who is Pandora? Player one? <laughs> you are correct. Let's go back. Please. In Rhinestone, she turned Sly Stallone into a country singer. Who is Dolly Parton? Yes, player one? <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> player How one? do you like him now? Now that he made his film debut as fading country star Bo Price in Broken Bridges. Who is Toby Keith? It's player one. <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> You, he was the mean and abusive Doyle Hargraves in Sling Blade. Sling Blade. Uh, okay, player Blade one. Blade. Yes. <laughs> you hats off to this singer who played the dad and horse rancher in 2006's Flick Up. Who is Tim McGraw? Let's hear it, player one. I remember seeing the movie in theaters. Good. <laughs> In a 1969 film, he showed some true grit as John Wayne's young sidekick. Who is Glenn Campbell? Okay, player one. Yeah! You are correct. <laughs> we return to... Had a whale of a time in 1851. Pequod problems. Call him this narrator. Was this meal? Okay, player one. Yeah. That is correct. <laughs> We famous foundling, psychs himself out. Title taught. Who is Oliver Twist? It's player one. Woo! Yep. <laughs> player L A P I. One. Okay. Chambler's champ slept big, and his goodbye was long. Yes, player one. Uh, who is Old Barlow? Correct. <laughs> We are time traveling Dresden dude. He wasn't a Puritan. A Vonnegut check. It's player one. Uh, who is Felix Stenneker? No, oh. sorry. Yeah. Anyone else? Here's the correct response. Billy Pilgrim. Oh, Billy Pilgrim. I would not have gotten that one. Player one. As a gem of a brother. Atticus, Atticus. Sweet home, Alabama. Uh, Player one. Who is uh, Scout Bitch? Yes. <laughs> uh, Player one. Choose Cure All. Let's hear it, Player one. What is Panacea? Hey, you're right. <laughs> These wide trousers, extending from the waist to the ankles, were popular in late 17th century England. Player one? What are pantaloons? Yeah! That's correct. <laughs> Player one? Yeah. Answer. The other daily double. You are in answer. A long, slender cigar. What is a uh, penitella? You have made yeah, 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 yeah. You It's a sentence using all letters of the alphabet, such as Watch Jeopardy, Alex Trebek's fun TV quiz game. Let's hear it, player one. What is Pagram? Yeah. That is correct. <laughs> player one, let's show her a little R-E-S-P-E-C-T. She's the first woman inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Here's Aretha Franklin. Player one? That's right, way to go. <laughs> Player one. Let's get Sarah's assistance on this clue. In 2007, Drew Gilpin Faust became the first female president in the 371 year history of this picturesque university. Oh, it's very picturesque. It's already. player one. 
I'm going to say what is, um, Harvard. You are correct. <laughs> yeah! Woo! Uh, Player one. Registering as Kay Switzer in 1967, Catherine Switzer became the first woman to officially enter and run this race. What is a marathon? Let's hear it, Player One. The Boston Marathon. Yep. <laughs> Well, Frances one. Perkins became the first woman cabinet member when FDR put her to work as secretary of this. What is labor? Player one. That's it. <laughs> and now the $2,000 clue. Wilma Mankiller was the first woman to serve as principal chief of this Southeast Native American tribe. Southeast, let's say maybe the South Player one. Kichobi. Or no, either one. Uh, let's go with the Cherokee. That's yeah. right. Way to go. Yeah. Congratulations to all of you. You'll be continuing on to Final Jeopardy when we come back. Here comes the Final Jeopardy players. The category is this: historic purchases. Historic purchases. So, what's your uh, wager? All right, players, this is what it comes down to. Here is the final Jeopardy clue. The English received this person from the Burgundians in 1431 for the sum of 10,000 francs. What did you put as your response? And that will set you back. What did you put as your response? With that correct response, yeah, you will gain. Well, Let's see your response. How much do you add to your total with that correct response? See you all for another game, everybody. Congratulations, <laughs> player one. You're the winner. I am a winner. Good game. Thank you so much for playing.